What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It is recap time for the South Africa taking on the British Irish Lions in what was probably one of the most brutal, aggressive, intense rugby matches I have ever watched in my life. Never have I seen so much tension and anger on a rugby field like we witnessed yesterday. Obviously, it's been a hell of a week with regards to the media, with regards to Russi, with regards to so many things that have happened. Um, and the boys definitely took it out on the field. I mean, the fights, the tension, it was epic. It really was. It was a hell of a game. It was a hell of a game. 27-9, final score. I think... Whether you're a Lions fan or a Springbok fan, you will argue certain ways of the referee. Personally, I don't think O'Keefe did a bad job considering the amount of pressure that Paul Bugger was under with regards to, obviously, what Rusty had said in the media, with regards to um, just everything that's gone on. Gatlin, two weeks ago, what he did to Maurice Yonker as well. It, it's just a bit epic without how the big boys of the coaching staff and the director just um, causing chaos with amongst the refereeing and the, and the sport. And there's been a lot of negative media. There's a lot of hate towards South Africa right now. Obviously, hate, love and respect. Uh, but there are a few, I could see it in the stream, calling South Africa a cheat, calling them this and that. You know what? It's a game of rugby. Got to move on, move forward. We've got the series, deci the series decider. Um, not the way I wanted it, but I did want a 1-1. I predicted the Lions to, funny enough, win last night, and I would have gone with South Africa to win the first test, but that wasn't to be. Obviously, South Africa losing the first test, but then bouncing back and mauling the Lions towards the end of the game uh, and playing cracking rugby. Um, still a lot to learn. Still a lot to work on for these teams. Um, I was very disappointed in box kicking from South Africa as I said in my interviews before the game as I said in previous streams I just want to see South Africa play running rugby getting the ball out to the wings using the talent that we have on that field rather than kicking every freaking ball away giving the opposition back to the lines run it back at us and put the pressure back on that was driving me insane I would have rather had a running game Obviously, it's tough with the conditions playing in Cape Town and all that stuff. But we hadn't had rain. So why did we need to kick so much? One thing I did was impressed with was Dad Bigger. Obviously, him and Gatlin were doing their homework on the spring box. A uh, few opportunities when they were close to the shore line, up and under, putting SA under pressure to try and get them confused. I thought that was genius, a strategy play from the Lions. Um, I thought, well done to them because they're just using our weakness and uh, using it to their advantage. They, they did it a few times. But then Pollard started doing the same thing to the Lions towards the end. And we started to wake up a bit more. Uh, Pollard's kicking was atrocious at the start of the tournament. South Africa could have well been um, further points ahead, but yesterday he was missing the kicks. And then second half, they started to wake up. Um, again, a, a match of interesting halves. Um, but jeepers, there was a lot of passion from the team. Captain Sia Khaleesi, take a bow. I thought you had an outstanding game. You know, often we criticise him when he's not performing, but we, we, think, we tend to forget to give him the credit when he actually is performing. And I thought Sia was outstanding um, this past weekend. Um, yeah, it was, it was a cracking game of rugby. Um, obviously, the card incidents uh, that we probably talk about, uh, South Africa discipline was a little bit better than last week. Um, 10 penalties conceded opposed to I think it was 17 uh, 15 penalties conceded from the Lions and they'll need to work on discipline going forward both teams getting a yellow card question mark whether both teams maybe should have got a red Jason Colby obviously um, taking the one guy in the air my understanding is if your eyes are constantly on the ball um, and it's an accident it's a yellow card so I didn't quite think it was red but you can understand why the Lions supporters were highly pissed off and upset by it. But um, overall, you know, these things happen. We can go back to Faf and whine about that. We can go back to uh, Duane van Amava also causing a little bit of chaos on the field and question marks whether he should have maybe got. Um, the missed dug tackles from last week. You know, 
We can all net pick and choose and read the question. I think this week's going, will Warren Gatlin release a video on all the mistakes that Africa made? But um, I doubt it. I think uh, coaches are going to stick far away from creating videos for the media. So yeah, penalties considered discipline is still a thing that we need to work on. You know, we're getting into the final stage of this tournament. South Africa need to pick it up. Uh, they need to start playing properly. They need to start capitalizing on opportunities that can't give away um, uh, these penalties. It's just not good enough. I think the question mark also for the Lions selection is bring more Welsh guys. Where are the players? If the other guys aren't putting on the form and, and the effort that they need to, uh, it's time these guys come in uh, just to boost this team up. Set pieces, South Africa last week, we were brilliant in the scrums, we only lost one, which isn't too bad, Lions 4-4, four to four, which is pretty good, Lions 1, South Africa losing to, um, 12, sorry, losing to uh, 10 out of 12, uh, 83% success rate, and the Lions losing the 3 um, so line out so good pressure from the South Africans to put them under pressure if you remember last week it was four line out South Africa had so it just goes to show we were driving again we were putting the pressure on uh, Bongi didn't have the greatest of games for me uh, as soon as Marks came on I thought the brute force of him was phenomenal Trevin in, in Ikania Bob Boyke welcome back it was good to see you playing quality rugby as well I was so happy to see him looking pumped and energetic that's the Trevin Ikania uh, I know and love and respect. So good to see him. Defence-wise, South Africa uh, and even the Lions were, was outstanding. 112 tackles made, 107 of those successful. 96% success rate. That is phenomenal from the Lions. A credit to them on the defence. South Africa, 136 tackles made, 121 of those successful. 89%. That's not bad at all. Territory and possession, extremely close. For, oh, excuse me. 50 50 50 um in possession and the territory 49 to 51 it's a phenomenal stuff from it just was an intense game um south africa definitely waking up and more dominant in the second half getting 64 percent of the territory and the possession whereas um the lions just dominated the first half and had the ball more so it was it was a good improvement from south africa that came a long way yes there's a lot of question marks yes Discipline, yes, handling errors, all these things and need to be looked at. But um, I thought, well done to them. Uh, just question was the kicking. Um, I wasn't too impressed with that for Pollard. At the start, he did bounce back though. So look, Kanye Arm, what a player. Phenomenal player. His tackling was outstanding as well. Because all of my pimpy, the two World Cup heroes, were the two heroes last night scoring the try in the 45th minute, which is Mopimpi and Lukanya Arm in the 61st minute. No tries from the Lions, therefore leading this series one apiece. Next week is going to be huge, ladies and gents. We're going to witness something special. We're going to witness something unique. We're going to see a cracking game of rugby from uh, two phenomenal uh, teams. Two, two phenomenal countries or four countries in the one side and obviously South Africa in the other there's definitely war out there's blood on the floor um, there's a hell of a lot of rivalry here that we're witnessing and I think it's going to be one intense game uh, where the pressure's just going to be on them both the teams and uh, we're going to see I think a lot of kicking points but I hope I'm wrong I'd rather see try try and try some more so yeah, phenomenal game. Why don't South Africa? Proud of my team for picking up the win. Proud of the way we played in the second half. Complete dominance, capitalizing on all the opportunities needed. Um, they're going to want to do that more as they're playing on the lines. The third and final test is not going to be easy. It is going to be intense. It's going to be hard. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be uh, vicious. Um, it's going to be heavy. So um, prepare yourself, both teams, because you are going to indeed need it. Who's going to win? We'll have to wait and see. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.